what's good people welcome to another episode of concept reese and today we got some new esports boxing club news man shout out to sports gamers online for getting that content i've not watched it yet we're gonna do it together now so let's get straight into this no messing about let's go so i watched like the first 10 seconds just to make sure the video was working but i ain't watched it watched it so we're gonna do that right now let's go let's get into this creating a legend damn i'm assuming i'm assuming we're gonna see how the developers create fighters and stuff like that in this game man roy jones looking good man all right let's get right into it we were given an exclusive inside look at still studios what did they do to roy jones face there man he looked like he looked like he tried to take a picture in the sun He's like, is the studio behind the upcoming boxing title? <laughs> boxing club. Oh, he's got no eyes. That's why he looks like that. But this is pretty cool because we're looking at Roy Jones Jr. Like now, this is like the older Roy Jones Jr. And at the beginning of this video, we saw, well, we saw the the, the younger Roy Jones Jr., which we're more familiar with. So I guess we're going to get both, right? Oh, this is how they transform him. So this is Roy Jones now. How? The, oh, damn. And once they have the baseline, the D oh the wow, the it's that easy. That's crazy sure, because there's no. Realistic as possible. I, I, this and software is crazy for one so because, amazing. in my mind, like you would have to have like you've got Roy Jones Jr. today, and to get younger Roy Jones, I thought you'd have to remodel him from from scratch. But these guys are just tweaking his body. And I didn't think it would be like that. I didn't think de-aging worked like that. That is crazy to me. I, the more I look at the way that they they get that body just to move like that. Amazing. It's 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 blow my mind. You got to account for the cheekbones changing in age, eyes changing. You know, your face structure completely changes when you're in your 50s and your 60s. And they're going to have to account for all of that. So they're going to have to keep going looking back at the renders and trying to tweak his face oh here we go some new gameplay as in details on the arm such as veins and muscle toning in the biceps yeah he's got that roy jones movement man that that loose movement that he had man slick to check the textures and color balances in each unique arena and light setting and you can see here, it looks really amazing. Yeah, it looks clean, man. So <laughs> it looks clean. The ESBC will feature a dynamic fighter damage system. They created custom shaders and blend shapes that allows them to create the appearance of progressive damage. I forget about the eye damage, man. The shaders update in real time as you play the game to demonstrate damage. Oh, if that's how they do it. So it's going to be, what they're basically saying is here, like it's going to be a slow progress for when the eye eventually swells up to the point where it's closed like that. As opposed to in some games where someone gets injured, the, the eyes already like out here after one big punch. Like it's, it's pretty cool how it's doing it in real time. I will say that them them shorts look a little bit too. What's the word? I don't know. Plasticky. They look a little bit plasticky. That's just me though, and I thought it might not be full renders, and I know they're still working on that. But yeah, them 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 they look a bit um like bin liners, if you know what I'm trying to say. But this has been really good, really good. For those who have got the not WBC on the shorts, damn, Roy Jones Jr. has done, people. More exclusive just like this from SGO. Oh, man. Okay, fair play. This this has been a cool video. This has been a cool video, I think. Oh, they're just showing gameplay now. Respects to Sports Gamers Online again for getting this content because, again, we've not seen some of this stuff. We've not seen any of this stuff, actually. We've not seen how legends are created and how they go from i don't know like taking roy jones jr as he is now and remodeling him to a younger state the one thing that does this does tell us is the fact that we're going to get different versions of fighters which is great which is real cool we're going to get if like so for example if michael um michael who am i talking about mike tyson gets announced um we're going to get two or three versions of mike you know, you're gonna get that young prime 19 year old Mike, or you're gonna get, you're gonna get the bit older Mike, and now the one with the tattoo Mike, old Mike, like ah, oh, 
that's that's good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back because again this is just this is just gameplay footage right now. We've all seen the gameplay footage. So there isn't really much else I want to talk about because I've kind of covered it in this video, but I will say this stuff impressed me. Just seeing how they go through the process of getting fighters, especially that have aged now, looking younger again. So it really impressed me. It'd be really interesting to see if you've got like, I can't think of a fighter on top of my head. Prince Nassim. Prince Nassim's a, a great a shout because Prince Nassim's obviously put on a lot of weight now. He's a bigger guy. Would you scan him in the game? Or would you just go off pictures? Because they look, Prince Nassim when he was younger in the 90s looks completely different to him now. And that's the same for, I guess, like young fighters fighting in the 70s and 80s that are in the game. Do you still need to get their scans? I doubt it because they're not going to be able to do the things. They're not going to look the same. Like they're going to look completely different and they're not going to have the same body structure. Like Roy Jones Jr. You can, you can do that with because whilst he has aged, you can change, you can still do stuff with him. But overall, this is pretty cool, man. Like really cool. We got some new footage. Like I said, not too convinced by the shorts yet. I think they look a little bit plasticky. They don't look a bit stiff. I don't think that this is the complete finished version. I feel like we're going to see something else here, but the little things I like is the shine off the shoulders from his movements, it, the light changes. It's it's super clean, man. It is super clean. And like I said, Roy Jones Jr., he had a unique style. He had a very loose style. He had a confident style about him. And we're getting that in this game. I already spoke about the eye thing. We knew that you're going to get big swelling in the game. But what I did like and what they were saying in the video is it renders in real time so eventually you're going to start to see this damage build up and build up um which is cool so when you go back to your corner you'll go oh like we need to we need to keep an eye on this eye or i need to do i need to do more as a player to avoid getting hit in the eye um because it could get to this point and that's what we don't want but really cool man even just looking at this character look at like the depletion of hair like he hasn't got a full thick layer of hair it's like he's got he's got parts of his hair missing little details like that man i like it when i first started researching this game i thought it was like ah oh, four cameras maybe five and they just get scanned that way there's that many cameras it's crazy it's crazy but i think that's it from me man um what's your thoughts on this do you think it's pretty cool do you want to know more about the behind the scenes stuff with esports boxing club because for me i find this stuff really interesting when you've got a game looking as good as esports boxing club i think it's nice to see what's behind the curtains with this but let me know your thoughts make sure you're liking and subscribing and i will catch you on the next one take care of yourselves guys